everyone, this is Lilith for Altenew with a new video and today I am so happy to be sharing the um, sketch challenge number two with you and this sketch was based on one of my previous layouts which you can see on the blog if you're joining us on YouTube. The link is in the comment section. So the first thing I did was I cut out a couple of flowers from that lovely pattern paper which comes in the reflection scrapbook kit and I'm going to start working on the um, principal design element of the sketch which is the large circle with three clusters around it. So I'm on, the pre on my original layout I worked with hearts and here I thought it'd be nice just to work with the circles as they are already in the sketch and to create my larger circle I'm just using a pen and some twine and I'm just roughly going around the edges just adding a little bit of doodling. Now if you have a sewing machine and you like sewing on your scrapbook pages or your cards or any of your other projects, you could try and do this with uh, your sewing machine or you could cut it out with a die cut machine if you want to as well. I just thought it would be nice to add a doodled element. I also stamped and cut out some leaves from the freeform greenery stamp set using the dies and I picked two colors of green which also came in the leaves. Um, which are around the flowers and I used some gold glitter tape which I think is out of stock at the moment and just uh, punched out a couple of embellishments. I also picked a few more other embellishments from uh, our reflection scrapbook collection and also our card kit and I'll just be playing with those and to see if I'm, I'll use them on my layout as well. I also pulled out the label love stamp set and now I'm going to start working on the layout. So on the layout there is the larger circle and then the three cluster clusters of elements. One here is going to be my photo and then I'll have uh, I'll add one cluster to the bottom, another to the top and then a larger one to the top side as well. Because it's such a beautiful photo of the Tuscan countryside, I thought I'd use a frame. And here you can see me take a new sheet of cardstock. Because when I was looking at the frame and looking at the size of my circle, I thought it's going to be too small. So I opted to start all over again and create a larger circle. So this layout came together in 18 minutes and 12 seconds. I timed it to show you that it can be really easy to create a layout and quite fast as well. So now that my circle is a little bit larger, I'll be able to work with the frame. So the first thing I'm going to do is map my photo onto some 6x6 um, pattern paper from the 6x6 six six paper pad and I'm just cutting off all the excess paper. I'm also going to draw a frame or some borders around that paper as well just to make it pop off the page a little bit more and then I'm going to pop my frame on. And just by adding the frame I think it just enhances the photo. Now I'm going to start working on my clusters, so one at the top which is going to be the larger one because I've already got my photo in the bottom right hand corner and then two smaller ones just to the top and the bottom of the photo leaving enough space to the right for my title. So I'm just layering all my little uh, flowers and also the leaves and just popping them under the flowers and the last one at the top. Now here I'm taking out some of those embellishments. I really like this butterfly so this is our wood veneer which I colored in with the Altony markers but the colors were just too bright and didn't fit in. So I'm going to go with this acetate butterfly which comes in our scrapbook collection. I'm going to add a, a couple of hints of gold. And once again using three butterflies just to stick to the rule of three. 
So I kind of just place elements on my page and if it doesn't work, I just pop them to the side. Now I'm going to create my title. So I'm going to get out the label love stamp set and also this lovely alphabet which comes in our collection. And you can also get embellishments and the alphabet separately now, so you don't have to buy the whole collection. If you just like the alphabet or some of our embellishments, you can buy those separately now as well. So my title is Tuscan Landscapes. And as you can see, I'm having to play around a little bit with the title and just moving things slightly to the left so that I can place it, place it on my paper. Now all I have to do is add some journaling and some handwritten elements. I also added one of the stamps from the Label Love set and now my layout is all finished. Thanks so much for um, popping by and don't forget to play along uh, with our sketch challenge which is on our blog. Um, see you very soon and have a lovely day. Bye bye.